Hey guys, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to fix issues in .yml files using this tool, which is a YML parser. So, let's get straight into it. So sometimes when you install a plugin and configure it, the plugin may not work after you've edited the .yml file and restarted your server. Usually, this is because you've not edited the file correctly, or you've made a small mistake, or you've mistyped, or something has gone wrong during the editing of the file. So in this tutorial, we will just be going over the basic way to find errors in permission or configuration files. So in this example, I'm going into the file manager, then into the plugins folder, and then into my permissions X folder. Now this works with any .yml file, so if I had a problem with essentials, I would just go into essentials and open the config.yml file. But just for this example, I'm using my permissions file. So it is the same, this isn't for just one plugin, it works the same for every plugin that has a .yml file. So as you can see here, I've got my permissions file. And already, if you've edited a YML file before, you can see that there are some errors in this which are quite obvious. To people who don't have much experience editing these types of files, they might not be aware of these errors. So what we're going to do, you go to this website, and there'll be a link to it down in the description below, and then you're going to go into your .yml file and you're going to copy everything. So highlight all the way from the top, all the way to the bottom, and then right click and click copy. And then go to this website, Again, there'll be a link to it in the description. And then in this left-hand side box, delete all the text that's currently there. And then you're going to paste the text which you just copied from your .yml file. And as you can see, it's pasted it all here. Now, if we just click outside of this box, so as you can see, it says in the output box here that there is an error. So what this is saying is that there is an error on line 11. So if we just copy all of this text, and then we paste it. I use the file editor brackets and then we paste it into here. You can use any that you like. You can obtain brackets here. There will be a link to it in the description just in case you want to use the same one. And then I like to use this as it tells you the line numbers which are there. So as you can see, it says there's an error on line 11. So if we go to line 11 by looking on the left hand side, you can see here that there is a problem here. So all the permission nodes are listed with a space in between the dash and the first letter. So if I add that and then if I copy this back, to here you can see that the error should no longer be there and as you can see it's skipped to a different error now it's saying there's an error on line 2 so you can see default up here so if we go back to this file and it looks like if you eyeball this it's really hard to tell but the default text is actually one space too far to the left so if we push it one far to the right as you can see here and if we copy it all back and paste it you can see that that error is now gone and then you can see it's now saying there's an error on line 25. So if we go back to the brackets file and you can see line 25, oh, you can see we've missed out the spaces here again. So if we just go and fix all of them, and then if we copy the text back once again, and it should tell us any further errors. So you can see there's an error on line 53. And basically you just keep going through the file until the error is no longer being listed here. So I'll just quickly go ahead and do that so you can see how it looks afterwards. So as you can see, I just fixed a couple more errors and you can see the output is now listing the file like so. So that means there are no obvious errors with the YML formatting for your file. So now that you've done this, you can copy all of this text and you can copy it back into the .yml file in our file manager. So if you copy it and then go back to the file manager and delete all the text that's currently there and then paste this text in. And just make sure that the top is right at the top with no lines above it and no spaces and the bottom is like it should be too. And that means in this case, my permissions should start working. So if I was to click save and then restart my server, permissions X should now load up fine. So this is a really great tool to help with permission files, configuration files, any file that ends in .yml basically. And just to be clear, this does work on all plugins, not just Permissions X. I'm just using Permissions X for this example. It does work the exact same way for other configuration files too. So if you're using this and you can't quite figure out what is going wrong, feel free to contact our support and they'll be more than happy to help you. When you contact them, just go to the support page, send a message, and if you use the Pastebin website, copy your configuration into there and then click create new paste and then send our support a link to that there. And then that will really help us diagnose the issue much sooner. So other than that, I hope that you've been able to fix the issues with your .yml file. So thank you for watching. Feel free to comment down below with new tutorials you'd like to see on the channel. And I hope that you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.